Have you ever wondered how a frisbee flies? Well, we sure did, so we decided to find the physics behind the flight. First off, did you know that the first frisbees were actually pie plates and were used by students of Yale University as a source of entertainment? The first plastic frisbee first came into production in 1958. There are two main physical principles behind the flight of the frisbee, aerodynamic lift and gyroscopic stabilization. We'll first be demonstrating and explaining aerodynamic lift. The basics behind aerodynamic lift follow the Bernoulli principle. This principle states that faster moving fluids will have a lower pressure than slower moving ones. When the air runs into a curved surface, such as that on the front of a frisbee or an airplane wing, which is angled slightly upward, the air moving over the top of the surface will move faster than the air moving under the bottom. This means that a high pressure area will be created under the frisbee, and a low pressure area will be created above the frisbee. Since fluids move from high pressure to low pressure, this will push the frisbee upward, therefore creating lift. The angle at which the frisbee is thrown relative to the ground determines how far it will be able to fly. As seen here, it is angled downward. The air on the top is not moving faster, and the frisbee will be forced to the ground. The basics behind gyroscopic stabilization revolve around torque and angular momentum. The forces of drag, gravity, and lift do not all act on the center of the frisbee, this results in unstable flight when thrown without spin. With a large spin, there is a large angular momentum created. Due to the direction of the angular momentum vector, it is able to overcome the small torque exerted on the frisbee by the unbalanced forces and keeps the frisbee in stable flight. And that's how the frisbee flies.